crossroads forever and a day on a guy to buy my soul. I spend all night and day. How much harder can I play? You know I gave my life to you, rock and roll. Mama begged me, please. Yes,、yeah, she got down on her knees. Said you'll burn in that Mississippi sun. But I'm the only one that's standing here, so Mama, don't you have no fear on me. The last two I've already won. Here I go. Take me down. Take me down. Take me down. Won't you? Take me down. Your album just came out. Congratulations on that! Thank you. Thank now, you. how has your guys' sound changed from the first album to this one? I think it's just kind of become a natural evolution.、Mm-hmm. I don't think it's really changed. I think we've just kind of grown and evolved as a band. So I think that you can hear that on this record. Awesome. Now, did you guys come across any challenges while making this last album? Yeah, I presented the first challenge myself、uh, the first the week before we went into the studio. I、uh, I kind of injured my arm, and、uh, obviously for a drummer that's a bad thing. So by the time we made it back into the studio, I kind of couldn't play, so we actually had to postpone for about a week until my arm、so、got better. That was better. the start. That was the <laughs> well, start. Yeah, now, yeah.、Right? Start. All set. All set. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, what are you guys' favorite songs to perform? There's a lot.、Um, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. It's really God's fun. fun. Hey man's a blast right now. Yeah. Hey man's yeah. cool. Take me down. It's really yeah, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Anything new? I mean, we love、yeah. the old stuff too, but it's fun to play it's new、fresh. material. Right.、Yeah. Now, how, what's your favorite guilty pleasure band? Good one. Like, what's a song that, or what's a band we wouldn't expect to be on your playlist? Uh, I got nothing. Okay. Well, I got I got Kitty <laughs> by the Presidents of the United States. States.、Yeah. Yeah. I'm really into that song right yeah, now because <laughs> Kitty on my foot, and I want to touch it. <laughs> yeah, it's a classic, really.、Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool too. It's yeah, good. I'm gonna go with the journey. Really? I love journey. That's not like guilty pleasure though. I feel like everyone loves that. See, see, see. But like, if you would have said one direction, <coughs> you know, I would have been like, what? You know how much I get for liking journey? <laughs> really? Yeah. Aww.、Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm a people. What's a lyrics tattooed on you? What would they be?、Um, From the, like any band, not your own. I'm personally not a tattoo person. None of us、mm-hmm. have tattoos. The Beatles、yeah. didn't have tattoos, so none of you guys have tattoos. I have、no. the tiniest tattoo that I got when I was like a child, with a little star on my side that you can't even see. It's, it's so small. It's like, it's like the a size、freckle. of a mole.、Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it doesn't even count. But、yeah. uh, we go with the Beatles didn't have tattoos. We don't have tattoos.、Yeah. Now, <laughs> Nothing guys, against tattoos, though. <laughs> just <laughs> your guys' U.S. tour ends on December six. So what holiday plans do you guys have? You're gonna go home. More work.、Um, yeah, it's a lot、really? of work.、Yeah. I think、uh, we might be jumping back in the studio some more. We're making another video,、uh, and then back on the road again.、Yep. Yeah, you guys did UK tour in January.、Mm-hmm. So what's、yep. coming up after that then? More music or more touring? More touring. More touring. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which includes music. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're going around the world and around the world again. Yeah, where's your guys' favorite place you've been? I guess it's impossible. It's hard. It's a tough one. Yeah.、Um, I mean, London's always fun.、Mm-hmm. Paris、yeah. is always fun. The Russian shows are crazy. South America was crazy.、Yeah. Actually, I think、yeah. we're heading back there. Spain's crazy.、Uh, Spain's crazy. Europe in general is yeah. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. super yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah.、Um, Chicago I mean, was crazy Chicago, last night. Yeah, yeah. Chicago was awesome、yeah. last yeah, night. Yeah, Ali was yeah. telling me about it. Yeah. Yeah. So now, what advice do you have for someone that wants to start a band or get into the music industry? Become a doctor. <laughs> Lawyer, <laughs> veterinarian, <laughs> accountant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, But for real. <laughs> no, for real. If it's well, for real, that actually is a good answer. If、yeah. you don't need to do this with every、yeah. fiber in your body, and、no. if you it because you, you have to dedicate your entire life to it, and you will lose everything else.、Yeah. Yep. So 
know that. And so if there's you have any other hobby that you like, go with that one. Yeah. And um, if you are going to get into it, go all in. Yeah. yeah. All, yeah. There's no half ass yeah. in this. No. Nice. Well, last question. What's the best piece of advice you guys have received? <laughs> Someone once said this a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. There you go. That's a good one. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for sitting down and have a good show. Thank you so much. I don't know. New York has a has its. Uh, we've been around the world many times now, and New York has its own kind of character and grit to it that you don't really find anywhere else. It's and a complicated question. New York evolves so quickly, so. No, like you'll literally leave for I don't know a week and come back, and everything has changed. So it's kind of a constant moving city that I think keeps you on your toes. But and the grit and energy of New York still represents rock and roll, I mm -hmm. think, and, and should. I agree. So. That's why we haven't left yet. <laughs> uh, four, five, six, we're seven. A we're adding them as they go. We, we didn't want to, you know, have a billion YouTube releases of our record that we, you know, put all our blood, sweat, and tears into literally before the record was out. So uh, we're slowly adding more and more new material, and and it, it's gonna be good. Uh, black clothing, pants, sunglasses, leather, water, water, uh, survival. Survival. Yeah. Don't shit in the tour bus toilet. Ever. It's bad times. Don't do it. It's a bad scene, bro. <laughs> Don't invite people on the bus who will do aforementioned things. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much that's the one number one rule. Or the number two rule. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey. One and two. Very nice. I quit. I quit. <laughs> if you want to follow us on social media, you have at Mark the Giant on Twitter, at Taylor Momsen on Twitter, at Jamie is gone on Twitter. Don't use Twitter. TPR band. official Twitter, and Taylor Momsen Facebook, TPR official Facebook, Mark Damon Facebook, this dude Facebook, <laughs> theprettyreckless.com. Captain Cave. Once again, I don't do it. Uh, <laughs> it's probably for the best. It's probably for the best. <laughs> I gotta ask the girl a question. There's a couple bands out there that I think every song is is about sexuality, stuff like that. You come from a much broader place. Is that important to you, or have you just not experimented with that other area? Uh, well, it's, it's important to be broad. I think it's, you know, the, the goal with songwriting and all of that is to say something succinctly and as simple as possible, but... Uh, you try to it, find pieces of everything that are important to exactly. everything. So. Sex is in there, sex but it's is, just a part of Sex is in there, it's just, it's, it's, it's all, you know, like everyone's not having sex 24 hours a day, so we write about all the hours exactly. of the day. That was the uh, my clumsy way of approaching that question right there. Is is that uh, is that you're not leaning on that, but you actually have something to say? Yeah, well, that's the point. That's why music is so you know liberating and amazing. Is because you, you have the freedom and you're able to express yourself and, and get your voice heard in some way. And you have to work to have something to say. You have yeah. to find things that are important to say. And, or at least something substantial that's going to last. Yeah, 
because you don't you don't want to put anything out that I you know I think the goal always with making records is if, if I like it then I'm happy and it's good but you never want to make something for the radio or for the fans or for any of that it's, it's you do it for you and, and then hope and then it hope translates. That, and hope that and hope that when I first heard it. Heaven Knows on the radio I shut it off and I called everyone and I was like this is the one on the radio this is yeah. it's one chord and it's it's one chord like there's a, uh, another chord in the bridge there's one chord it sounded completely different and I was like it's gonna fail. Yeah. Should have picked something else. Yeah. yeah, I was you wrong. You were wrong. I was really wrong. But is that weird? That is a great question for you. I mean, how many songs have you written in your career and then one hits? Do you just go, uh, where is this coming from? Why is why all of a sudden is magic happening? Yeah, pretty much. Completely. Yeah. We yeah. expected yeah. nothing. You expect nothing. You make it. You like it, and then. You give it to you, other people. You probably have a trunk full of songs at home that you think are better, though. It's kind of right? like having a, I'm sure it's like, I don't have any kids, but it's like having a kid and then just handing it off to a bunch of dudes people. at a record label <laughs> yeah. and have them raise it. <laughs> and then hopefully it doesn't do drugs and hit the stripper pole or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that thing is kind of sketchy. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, so are you recycling some things from your younger days? Uh, not, no. No. <laughs> no. No, everything that you've come up fresh. You don't go, here's a bridge that I wrote back mm -hmm. in. No. no. No, and we have a lot of things that were good, but they're old and we want well, once, fresh. Well, so. once they're old, they're, they're boring to you then. Yeah. <laughs> so so you're, you're three singles deep, three top tens deep. Um, are you starting to feel any urge whatsoever about how am I going to follow this up, or do you just ride the wave? Not really. We're kind of actually really relaxed right now. I and think. we're really uh, ready to follow. And we're really, really excited to make a new record. Uh, so we've been touring and going to hell for about two years now. So yeah, it's been a bit. It's hasn't been it? a bit. So this should be the last run, and then we're, we're two going years back in to September. Writing, we'll yeah. be the touring. Is That's over. crazy. Are we going to go four four deep since the third one uh, went? You know, all the way to number one. Is that official yet? Because I think it's I official think, on think Tuesday. That we're number one on third. That's third history. 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 Right. That's right. official yeah. history. Uh, I think if there uh, there's some t there's some talk of other touring, but we pretty much shut it down to go make a new record right after this tour. Right. Uh, if if it goes to another tour, maybe we'll do another single. But I don't know. We don't, know. We don't really. We don't really make those decisions. No. Exactly. So you just, we just yeah, we you just, just make the art and then they, they put it out. Yeah. And, and then, then they, they raise the ride the wave. Yeah, ride the wave. Ride the wave. It is a wave. Life is a wave. Yeah, we yeah. birth the baby and they raise them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna think about that for a minute here. This baby thing is a weird analogy. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it, 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 it works though because it's kind of you know whenever says, "Can you pick a favorite song?" I'm like, "No, it's like picking a favorite kid." I mean, yeah. I'm sure parents do it, but you don't want to actually admit to it. <laughs> Your album just came out so recently. You're on tour for the rest of the year. Crazy <laughs> busy. Yeah, two years. Probably till like 2018. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, no. We live day to day. Yeah, I good. If you think ahead of time, it overwhelms. Uh, well, okay, and I'm not trying to overwhelm you, but I know you be guys, here now. Uh, yes, be yes, here now. Be here now. You're here. You're doing this. It's super late at night. You've been doing this for a long time. You played a show, and then you're just here talking to a bunch of random people. Thank you for making me one of them. No, you're thank you. Right. You're not. Really. <laughs> no, best friends. We you're go way very back. nice, very pretty, and <laughs> thank and you. And it's good to see you. It's great to see you. But what are you most looking forward to? I guess about the next year and a half a lot of things yeah i mean you get to it's not a it's not a, it's not a bad job no no no, no it's, it's a good, good job it's a good job <laughs> yeah just Roll with the punches go with it and and we get to play rock shows every night right. it's awesome well and what do you guys do to pass the time in the long drives besides write books that you might not finish and watch south park south park <laughs> okay south, south park and try to write books and uh, try to get with stephen king to uh, talk about it yeah. stephen <laughs> Uh, and he's, and, and, he's, he's the master. <laughs> he's the master. That will go in. Stephen King, please check out Freddie Wright. This needs to happen. He doesn't care. No, he he loves you guys. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, sure I'm pretty sure he doesn't care, and he probably shouldn't because he's Cause Stephen he King. Plot, he doesn't care. Yeah. Because yeah, he's good.